Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. My name is Ezra Anderson, and today we're going to create neon text in Affinity Designer. After opening Affinity Designer, the first thing we're going to do is give our document a black background. We can do this by selecting the rectangle tool and then clicking and dragging to make a rectangle. Then you just need to change the color to black. To make sure we don't accidentally move this layer around, we can lock it in the layers panel. Now that we have our black background, it's time to add some text. I'm going to press T for the artistic text tool and then click anywhere in the document and begin typing. We can't see our text right now because it's black on a black background. To fix this, press escape and then you can come over to the color panel to change the color of your text. You want to make the fill color for your text a very light shade. So I'm going to bring this circle almost all the way down to white. Then I'm going to select the stroke color and make it a very bright color. We'll also need to come to the stroke panel and increase the width of our stroke. Be sure to check Draw Behind Fill, otherwise the stroke will start covering up your text. We're also going to want a different font. I'm going to change the font to a neon font that I downloaded from dafont.com. If you'd like to use the same font that I use, I'll include a download link for it in the video description. For now though, I'm just going to come up to the contextual toolbar and change my font to neon. Then with the Move tool, I'm going to make my text box a little bit bigger and put it in the center of my document. I'm also going to center my text by pressing on the center text option in the contextual toolbar. After you're done editing your text, it's time to convert it to curves. To do this, we'll press on the triangle on the far right and then click on convert to curves. In the layers panel, you can now see that we have a group that's filled with each one of our letters that has been converted to a curve. We're going to ungroup all of these letters by pressing ungroup in the contextual toolbar. Now with all of these layers outside of a group and as their own individual layers, next we're going to expand the stroke so the stroke and fill of each one of these letters is on a separate layer. To do this, we'll come to Layer, Expand Stroke. In the Layers panel, you can now see that the fill and the stroke are on separate layers. Right now, we have all of the strokes selected. I'm going to group them by pressing Command or Control G. Now I'm going to select all of the layers that used to be the fill and press Command or Control G to group them. Now we have two groups. One group contains all of the fills of our letters, and the other contains all of the strokes. To give our text a neon effect, we're going to blur each one of these groups. First, I'm going to select the group that used to be the stroke of each one of the letters. Then I'll press on the FX icon. For this effect, we're going to check on Gaussian Blur, and then bring up this slider quite a ways. Then we can exit out of this dialog box and select our other group and come back into the Layer Effects dialog box by pressing on the FX once again. Now we'll check on Gaussian Blur and this time give it just a small blur. I'm going to make my blur just one pixel. Then we can exit out of this box. To make our neon text effect look even more convincing, I'm going to take the stroke group and duplicate it by pressing Command or Control J. Then I'm going to come back into the layer effects and bring up the radius all the way. This layer is a little too strong right now, so I'm going to lower the opacity to 70%. You can see that this group is really giving a nice touch to our neon effect. At this point, I'd say our neon effect is finished, 
but I want to show you how you can easily change the color of your text. Just press Escape so you have no layer selected, and then come to the Adjustments icon and select HSL. Now as you drag the Hue slider around, it will change the color of your neon text. If you ever want to change the hue again, just double click on the HSL Adjustments icon and you can bring back up the hue slider. You now know how to make beautiful neon text in Affinity Designer. Thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed our neon text tutorial. If you'd like to learn even more about Affinity Designer, I'll leave a link in the video description for our complete beginner's guide to this program. We cover every tool and technique you need to get the most of this software. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.